Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. This week's matchup features two teams who both walked away with a notch in the loss column last week. It's the Bills going up against... Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles come into today's matchup wanting to find a way to walk out of the stadium with win number five on the season. It's the Bills going up against the Eagles. Okay, Larry, thank you. We are just off I-95 at the home of the Eagles, Lincoln Financial Field on the south side of Philadelphia. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles. on the carry good pickup on first down partner i think from our experience together we have learned 
that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Rivers now on second down. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Marcel Darius in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. They'll run it now out of the gun. And down he'll go at the 25. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Drive in the air. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's McCoy. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Let's go. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Still nine yards to go on third down. All right, here we go. Three, Detroit, Detroit. Gun, 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 gun. Looking to throw. And he'll jack this one down to McCoy. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard at the 41-yard line. Seven yards on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. 
And the Bills send the punter out as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now this is fielded in the end zone. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will have the football at the 20-yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know, we know where we are right now, but the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together formulating a streak that the whole month of December still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. Yeah, they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. So the offense has it first and 10. Now a handoff as they run left side and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. Here's Rivers. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Meanwhile, taking a look at what's going on in KC. And yeah, the Chiefs have jumped out to an early lead in their ball game. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Extra DB on the field for the Bills here on third down. Yeah, maybe think and pass. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Over the middle, complete. That's Ford. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first and ten, Rivers. He rifles one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. And Brandon, the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the rain's going to let up anytime soon. So that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips. And this one winds up getting intercepted. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. 
That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Second and ten. Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a cornerback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. A swing pass caught. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Play clock winding down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's in. Blood Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward. But they kick it here, and it's good. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This will be fielded at the 8. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. And here's the first carry of the game for the former Eagle, LaShawn McCoy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Fresh set of downs here. Set up a throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Give him nine there on the first down completion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Field stripe, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. And the Eagles will go with an extra DB here as they prepare for a stop on third. Thinking pass all the way. Here we go now. Boom, Back to throw here. And he will find his man on the outside. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. He'll 
drop to throw. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of six there on first. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. They've got it second and four to start things out. This give is to McCoy, and he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Well, when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. They'll set up to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And some room to roam now. Past the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys are picking it off. They're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. D Ford in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Shotgun, he'll look to throw. Gonna drop this off to McCoy, complete. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there, not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Set. Set. 
They go play action here on first down. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was, and Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, the teammate is able to come up with the ball. Rivers now. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A really nice gain of 25 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little gain. Preston Brown in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Second down, Rivers. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That goes for a gain of 31. running back and he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 two yards the game there and now they're left with a third and about four for a first Take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. six to their lead. 
And man, Charles, talking about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catches. The fun stuff, any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Bills getting set to go. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. The Bills on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is going to be third and 13. Now back to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. That pick six extending this lead even further. And I, boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter, but things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. And that stretches the lead to 27. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And here come the Bills. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big-time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. territory give him 30 yards there two minutes to play here in the first half we'll come back to philadelphia after this now a first down carry here for mccoy and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five and there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The 20. Left side caught by Matthews. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Detroit! Detroit! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! 
Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off down at the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's had his interception woes early in his rookie season, but sometimes that happens. There are great examples of guys in the past that have had those same struggles early. You are so correct in what the team and organization is hoping. We're going to see these woes now. But later, when we're helping him with his Hall of Fame speech, we'll remember his rookie year and how things began. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Rivers on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old-school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. On second down, Rivers again, finding his safety valve here. That's complete. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Rivers. And he connects with Ertz. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And the offense lining up first and ten. Rivers now to throw on first down. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Four yards remaining now on second down. Watch tight, watch tight. Tight here right, tight here right. Hey, here we go. One down, one down a little bit. Three down, three down. Over, 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 over. Set, round it. Show me that, show me that. Over, over. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. Hey, turn it up, turn it up. Set, three down. Hey, cut. Rivers again. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tap and foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. On first and 10, Rivers has it left side and he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds it's another 10 yards on that one and another first down so even though it's first down here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime on the left hash officially it's called a 51 yard attempt and he hits the upright, but it caroms in anyway. Boy, plenty of distance there as he banks it in. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. Well, he needed a little love from the right upright that time, but Fortune smiled down on him. Yeah, I mean, in terms of distance, he had more than enough. The only question was keeping it straight. And he's indeed very fortunate to get the bounce there. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. 
but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. He'll start on the ground with McCoy. And he stopped immediately there. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. The second quarter score from KC. The Chiefs have added on. They're pulling away in that one. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Second and just one. 32. He lost two there, and it's third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. The Bills on third down. Just one for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Now let's go. Watch it now, Marty. Marty. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. They'll try and run for it with McCoy. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now let's go. Looking to throw. He hits Jermaine Curse. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. the game I start to get the sense that whenever it rains out those guys have to touch the ball and carry it they're extremely resentful about that weather yeah I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads I know that much yeah maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here as we just saw the fumble happen on the field it's brought in here by Willie Sneed a really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks
The first down throw here for Rivers. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So here we go, first and 10 now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Eagles on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Hey, Ray, go, bro, hey, 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 Delta! Operating from the gun. Rivers. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that? Bad taste out of their mouth here. A gain of three, second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. On second down, it's McCoy. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his mind there, but I'm sure that during some of these plays, he is mindful of it. And once you fumble the ball, you know what your team tells you and your coaching staff? Take care of it. Rest of the game. And it does get in your mind a little bit, and sometimes that slows down your effort in trying to get free from tackles. And the defenders know it, too. They sniff that out, don't they? Everybody wants to swarm the football. You know the rule is, first guy hold up the runner, everyone else try and get there and strip the ball free. The Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. And out now come the Eagles. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Now they'll run it on the toss. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Rivers now on second down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. 
And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 33 and a first. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because... They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. The backup, Rob Kelly, his first carry. And down inside the 15, he goes. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop a red zone opportunity. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he cuts it back. He's got the lane, and there he goes. 20. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. D Ford in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. the shotgun he'll look to throw and he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action and welcome back we are in the city of brotherly love philadelphia the bills have the football but they trail here as we begin quarter number four The Bills on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and 11. Let's go. Boom, it. They'll set up to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldened the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So a bullet dodge there defensively. They surrender excellent field position on the kick return, but it winds up not costing him a thing. And that's a tough sequence of events from an offensive perspective. The inability to get first downs leads to the field goal try. And the inability to cash that in leads to nothing on the scoreboard. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. 
where Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage, they've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And now here's a carry heading left. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now a handoff as they run left side. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Again, this is Kelly. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. And to give this time to the tailback. And some space here. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now a handoff here to his running back. About three yards there to the 27. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Seven yards to go on second down. Oh, design run for their wide out. And he's got Rome. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now they try the right side here. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Second and goal. And they'll run it here. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one.
The offense on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're looking at a third and goal here. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. He lost two and it brings up fourth. This offense bent the defense in their long drive downfield, but once they got within sight of the goal line, the defense went to don't break mode and is stiffened. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. Now it's Sturgis converted on the field goal. Now he'll send this one away on the kickoff. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Bills' offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Start the drive with a carry by McCoy. So we've got a second and five. They'll go again to McCoy. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Bills on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Here's a give to McCoy running left. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. A give to McCoy. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Derek Barnett in there to sack him for a loss of six. The Bills on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and 16. Right, here we go. Boom, Back 
to throw. And that is incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Shedding the tackle. Great coverage there. Holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys I'm a little skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly, wise beyond his years. So for the Eagles, the win gets them back over 500 at 5-4 five and four on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bills... The difficult season continues as they drop to 1-8, and eight, and they'll try to make amends next week as they host the Cleveland Browns. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia. Philadelphia.